tail. Why do you bother me? Go away. Go away. <laughs> okay. Hey, you seem friendly. Make it quick. Any rumors? I'm not listening to you. <laughs> it's because I don't like you. Oh, okay, bye. Just leave. All right, see ya. Help! Oh! You must help! They're killing everyone at Wayne on Priory. Really? Who? Hold <laughs> he doesn't like me. Hold on, tell me what happened. I don't know. I think they're right behind me. Really? Prior Mabarel is dead! Oh. Who's, att <laughs> Who's attacking Wayne and Priory? I was in the sheepfold when they attacked. <laughs> I heard the Prior talking to someone, looked around the corner to see who it was. They looked like travelers, ordinary. Sorry, I can't hear you. Suddenly, weapons appeared in their hands, and they cut the prior down before he could move. My God. They saw me watching, and I ran. Quite the hero. Uh, is Joffrey okay? <sighs> I don't know. In the chapel, praying, I think. You must help us. What is that ungodly sound in the background? I can use a hand here. Oh, they're angry now. <laughs> I do not fear death. Got him. Well, welcome back to Oblivion. We are finally back at Wayne on Priory, but it looks like the naughty Mythic Dawn agency here. Stop. Thief. Whoa! What are you? Why are you attacking me? John, help! Fear death. <laughs> why do you bother me? Go away. Okay. God's blood <laughs> that came out of nowhere. Have you seen Grandmaster Joffrey? <laughs> Erinor said he was in the chapel. Quick! He may need our help. Okay. All right. Let's go quickly. Sean Bean, how are you doing? I think we should find your friend Joffrey <laughs> at once. I agree. Follow me. I'll introduce you. I'm with you. Yeah, sex late boy. It's good to see you. Quickly. Into the. Pardon me. No. I'm sorry to trouble you, but I was sent to ask for your help. No, I'm a bit. I'm a bit busy. Okay. Who are you? Where are my manners? I'm Ross of Norvalo. Okay. My husband Gillen has requested that I find you and ask if you'd assist him. Okay. Look, I'm a little bit busy right now. <laughs> She's so angry. A little busy. Okay. Sorry, Rosa. Oh, I see. Well, if you change your mind, come see me, and I can fill you in on the details. Okay, I shall. All right. You have fun with this uh, Mythic Dawn agent. Play nice. All right, Sean Bean. Hopefully, Joffrey's alive. Is he attacking? Joffrey, that's that's the air. Joffrey, that's Sean Bean. Joffrey, no. <laughs> Sean Bean, you okay? I think we should find your friend Joffrey at once. You found him. I'm with you. Joffrey, please. Not on this side. <laughs> I'll just I'll just leave and come back in again and hopefully that fixes everything. Joffrey? Hello. You can What? I've always liked the oak and crozier. Ah! I don't know this is getting out of hand. Now there are two of them. <laughs> Joffrey. You're back. <laughs> Thank Talos. Yes. They attacked without warning. I was praying in the chapel when I heard Prior Maberell shout. I had just time to arm myself. But not get dressed. The Amulet of Kings. I fear that was the target of this attack. Oh no. I kept it in a secret room in Wainon House. Okay, let's go. We need to go see if it is safe. Let's go see if it is safe. We'll go together. But I fear the worst. God, this is the longest intro I've- The amulet, is it safe? I don't know, man. We'll go together. But I fear the worst. What the hell? Quickly now. Quickly now. Come on. <laughs> what is this? Fear the enemy came here for the amulet of kings. Yep, let's go check on it. Okay. Well, welcome back to Oblivion. Today, um, Wayne and Priory. Yes. We'll go look for the Amulet of Kings. Hopefully it hasn't been stolen. That would be terrible. Oh, it's been stolen. Well, Joffrey, we gained an SS boy. We gained Sean Bean, but we lost the Amulet of Kings. Yes? The Amulet, is it safe? No. I should have known they could find it. Little can remain hid from a Daedra Lord. I underestimated the enemy. It will not happen again. What of your mission to Kvatch? 
Uh, I found Martin, the guy you were brutally attacking in the chapel. So it has not all gone against us. Thank Talos for that. <laughs> we gained Uriel's heir and lost the Amulet of King. <laughs> yes. Martin cannot stay here. Okay. We have driven them off, but they will be back once they learn of Martin's survival. Which they will. Mm. Where can we go? Where will he be safe? Nowhere is truly safe against the power arrayed against us. Cloud Ruler Temple, I think. Okay. The hidden fortress of the Blades in the mountains near Bruma. Mm. A few men can hold it against an army. Where are we? We should leave at once. Okay. Well, that sounds good. <laughs> that sounds good. We should get moving. Yes. I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Be quick about this or find someone else to talk to. Uh, w we may as well pick up this quest from Ralsa. Pardon me. I'm Yep, I know. Where are... Um, how can I help? Normally, I wouldn't approach a total stranger like this, but Gillen seemed so insistent. Please forgive my audacity. That's okay. Continue. Thank you. Gillen always tends to exaggerate, but in this case he sounded earnest, which worries me a bit. He said to tell you that the matter he needs help with is of the utmost importance to the citizens of the Imperial City. Oh my god. You're to meet him at Serador's house, which is located in the Temple District. Okay. He said all will be explained when you get there. All right then. That's all he told me to say. Okay, I'll go. Thank you. I'm sure he'll be pleased. I must go now. <laughs> Good day to you. Okay. Well. Nom nom nom. She's having a little feed. Yes. Come on, Joffrey. It's time to go. Surprise. <laughs> Why do you bother me? Go away. This I won't rest nuts. easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. <laughs> I feel like that's a lie. Damn what? it, I think we're glitched. Go ahead, please. Fighting's easy. Just lead them out on the water and shoot them full of holes. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Farewell. Farewell. Okay, is Joffrey actually stuck? Is he just stuck here, killing Sean Bean repeatedly? Okay. Well, I did want to do main quest today, but that's okay. Yes. The game's broken. Well, boys, why don't we do Ralsa's quest? What do you say? Let's fly to the Imperial City, use a little cat space mission, and we'll save the day ourselves. Who needs Joffrey? Who needs Sean Bean? Two SS boys in one cat space mission is all you need, baby. Wowie! Time to save the day. Yes! Time to prove that I really am a good guy. I know we've been doing a lot of Dark Brotherhood quests lately, but you still think I'm a good guy, right? Yes! Yeah? Like I'm a good hero, yeah? Golly, you're the best! Thank you, that's what I thought. Hmm. Well, we're meeting uh, Cyrador at his house in the Temple District. Um, and yeah, let's have a look at our stats. Our gear's pretty good. Um, we got that from doing Dark Brotherhood. Cruelty's hard, I know it says Cruelty's hard, but we're a good guy, I promise. We need a helmet, we need a ring. We do have this simp ring, though, that I will equip. Stats looking pretty good, level 11, or disclassed. Um, we do need to level up, we'll try and have a sleep when we get into Serador's house. Yes, wowee, we'll just ask a sleep in his bed. But it's nice, you know, it's nice to be saving the day, being a good guy without Joffrey or uh, Sean Bean. They're pretty bad influences, you know? We don't need them around all the time. Oh! Guys, please! Uh, my oh, it's an honor to finally meet you. <laughs> When I heard you were in town, I just had to send for your help. Your reputation precedes you. Oh, no. Oh, allow me to introduce myself. I am Serador. Hello. Pleased to meet you, Serador. I'm Autism Cat. Likewise. Sorry to send Gillen's wife to get you in that manner, but it seems safer if we weren't seen on the streets right now. Oh. If you'll come with me. Okay. Very well. Lay down. Splendid. Watch your step. Oh, are we going down into his basement? Into his basement that I'm sure isn't some kind of secret cult. Guys, can you please stop? Okay, please! I'm trying to make new friends? Look out! As a blade, my place is at Martin's side. Then stop attacking him, okay? You gotta behave. As a blade, my place is at Martin's side. Okay, well, I'm trying to make a good impression, so just... just chill. Serador. Just ignore these, uh, weird acquaintances of mine, okay? I'm really a good guy. I know I've got some weird friends, but I'm here to help 
you. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite quests in the game. I don't, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, it really is a good one. And it's like all the best quests in Oblivion. It involves a secret cult-like organization. I'm honored by your presence. Wait, thank you. But yeah, this might be an extra long episode. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Extra long episode. Welcome. You're now in the sanctuary of the Order of the Virtuous Blood. Oh. Few outside our circle have ever set foot in our hallowed hall. Oh. We are, for lack of a better word, defenders. We guard the city from an infestation that plagues it. We are vampire hunters. Wowee. I'm sure you are familiar with these despicable beings. Yes, despicable. Feeding on the innocent as if they were cattle. Well, this group was formed to combat them. Okay. Alas, we are but three old men, not able to match the fighting prowess of a vampire. We lack the strength to defeat them in battle. Hmm. Well, I'm only level 11, and vampires are pretty tough for those who don't know. Um, how can I be of service? Our goal is to root out the vampires that live in our fair city. So far, we've been unsuccessful finding one, until now. My god. It's come to the Order's attention that Temple District resident Roland Jenserik is a vampire, and has already claimed one victim. <gasps> That's where you come in. We want you to slay this vampire, and cleanse the city of his filth before he can feed or kill again. Sounds good. Um, where is he? A few nights ago. I was roaming the city, as I often do, okay. <laughs> looking for any signs of a vampire. As I headed past Roland's house, I heard a cry. I rushed into the back garden to find Roland struggling with a woman he'd been courting. I tried to intervene, but he was too strong. He threw his lover to the ground and turned his attention on me. Luckily, I managed to run back into the street and escape his grasp. I hid for a while and then returned to the garden. Roland was gone, and the woman was dead. She had two puncture marks on the nape of her neck. That's when I realized he was a vampire. <laughs> the Order needs you to track him and destroy him. Excellent deduction skills. How do I find him? I would start by searching his home. He hasn't been there for days, so it should be safe. Okay. Return to us here if you have questions. We meet at night. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, we're part of a cult, which is exciting. Who knows when Roland may strike again? Yes. You must hurry. Yes. First of all, I'm just going to... Oh, look, there's a little bed here. I'm just going to have a sleep in your bed. You don't mind, do you? No. Do a little save and wowee. We need to make sure we level up for these vampires because they can be very, very tough. Very hard to defeat. Yes. Um, should we wait until nighttime? That could be good. Do a little nighttime quest. Yes, wowee. Walk around at night, you know, when the vampire's strongest. It's probably a dumb idea. Anyway, let's see. You have ascended to level 12. Wowie Ree. 58 personality, 51 intelligence. Undoing the years of skooma abuse. Yes. Wowie Ree. What's happening? I have discovered two bleeding pinpricks. No, Vicenti. Now is not the time. You are like a dark gift from the Night Mother herself. <laughs> no, I'm not. Please. Tell me how I can help. You can get out of here, Vicenti. You, you, you couldn't have picked a worse time. <laughs> Damn Dark Brotherhood. I'm a good guy now, Vicenti, okay? I don't want your dark gift. Okay? I'm a good guy. Sean? Wait here. It's been too long since I... Let's continue on to Cloud Ruler Temple. No, you'll be safe here. I was looking forward to reaching Cloud Ruler Temple. Don't be long. You'll be fine. <laughs> I won't rest easy until Martin is safe at Cloud Ruler Temple. Stay here, Joffrey, okay? You crazy. It's been too long since I seen a good dog. Why can't I just why can't I just do a quest? Why can't I just save the day without the goddamn Dark Brotherhood showing up? Without my weird friends telling me to go to Cloud Ruler Temple? No. We're gonna save the day before we become a vampire. We're not going to Glabrol Temple. What a beautiful evening. Look at this. Good evening, officer. Stop! No! <laughs> you violated the law. God damn it. Police brutality. Here's the procedure. Because <laughs> eight lives matter. God, we're getting nothing done this episode. Oh my god. What is this? <laughs> is there Amiel? 
<laughs> no, 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 not again. God damn, no. It's not even funny anymore. I'm not... I may be laughing, <laughs> but it's not... It's not funny anymore, okay? I may be laughing as... I may be laughing as I'm talking, but it's not funny, okay? We just need to get along. I don't know them, I swear. <laughs> I don't know them. I don't know them. Good guy. Wowie re. Okay, we've broken into Roland's house. Hopefully he has some kind of vampire manifesto lying around. We need to cure our own vampirism as well. You know, we're a good guy. I don't think I don't think we want to be a vampire, even though they are very powerful. Damage Joffrey! This is not the place. You're leaving blood in his house. This was supposed to be a stealth mission. Oh <laughs> nothing. Well, you guys stay here. Sex slave boy and I are gonna check the basement. See anything, SS boy? Anything of significance? Make sure we check all these chests for any hidden items. Vampire manifestos. Wowie re. Maybe some kind of a uh, wine bottle filled with blood, you know? It's kind of a sweet bar, isn't it? Hmm. Should we just serve up some drinks? Should we just get effed up? Yes! <laughs> no, 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 that was an accident. We're not doing that, SS boy, okay? We have a job to do. Oh, gee. <laughs> Should we get effed up? Yes! Okay. What are we- Oh, here we go. Letter from Ralphina. After searching Roland's home, I found a letter written to Roland from his girlfriend. It mentions a cabin where they would meet. Located east, the Imperial City, Great Forest. Roland could be hiding. I should out there immediately before his chance to escape. I cannot wait to sink my fangs in your neck, Relfina. We don't need to read that, I'm sure. I'm sure there's not, uh, you know, more to this quest than meets the eye. I've arrived at the cabin. Ouch. All right. <laughs> he probably just, he's probably asleep and he probably heard this big bang on his roof. Autism cat makes his descent. All right, let's do a save, cabin save. And we'll see. Okay, let's be ready. Vampires are pretty strong. Go away. I know what you're here for. Just leave me alone. I'm here to murder you. You're a vampire. Vampires? Why would you ask me about those filthy creatures? Because you're a filthy creature. Cerido says you're a vampire. That bastard. Cerido dares accuse me of being a vampire? Me? Ah! He's the one who is the vampire. Oh. Really? I can't believe him. I knew he would try and pin this on me. If only I could get my hands on him. Oh. Calm down. Explain. I... I'm sorry. I've been hiding up here in this cabin and I've forgotten my manners. <laughs> Try and understand. I loved her. I'd never harm her. Ralphina was the love of my life. For the first time, I had a positive outlook. Then I saw Seridor looking at her with those coveting eyes. No. Oh. When she started taking walks in the garden at night, I became suspicious. I didn't want to lose her. I should have trusted her. Oh, Ralphina... What happened that night? Yes. I must let someone else know. That night, I decided to follow Relfina. I wanted to see where she went on her walks. Mm. When she stopped in the garden and Serida stepped out of the shadows, my heart sank. And suddenly he was upon her. She seemed entranced as he wrapped his arms around her and sank his teeth into her neck. I burst from my hiding place and attacked Serido. He became startled for a moment and tossed Relfina aside. She fell to the ground, and I heard a sickening crack as her head struck a stone. I was no equal to Cerido. He knocked me down in one quick movement. As I lost consciousness, I saw him laugh and then run away. Now I know why he didn't finish me that night. He wanted to cast suspicions on me instead. Why didn't you tell anybody? I panicked. By the time I awoke, her body was gone. I knew Seridor was a respected member of the community. They'd never believe he was a vampire. I retreated here to the cabin to collect my thoughts. <laughs> Instead, you did nothing. 
You've just been drinking here. I saw your bar. I saw your basement bar, you alcoholic. Well, don't worry. Autism cat's on the case, okay? What should we do? I suppose you must decide what to do. Are you going to kill me? Mm, I don't know. Um, I'm not going to kill you just yet. I think we'll go see Serador first. Thank you. I'm happy you gave me a chance to explain. Yeah. Hmm. Remain leery of Serador. He's much more cunning than you may suspect. My God. Okay. Well, I worry about you, man. You. Oh, sorry. Probably shouldn't steal your things. Well, a flawless diamond. Hmm. You don't mind if I take that, do you? No. You don't seem to mind. <laughs> okay. Thank you for sparing me. That's okay. Anything else? Any alcohol? Any skooma lying around, perhaps? Let's see. No, no. Can I sleep in your bed? Hmm? Can I have a little rest here, perhaps? Hmm? Well, we'll level up. We need to make sure we're nice and strong before we face down Serador, and then we'll go see where he's at. What's the bet that he's fled his house, though? We'll have to ask around, see if we can find out where he is. Look at this, wowie, level 13. 55 willpower, 60 personality, and 43. Endurance, wow. Please don't break. All good. Hey, Sean Bean. Thank you for sparing me. That's okay. Darkest darkness. Guards! Guards! I didn't you see treacherous a thing. little filcher! How dare you steal from me? Well, boys, let's go find Serador. Stop fighting. Well, I'm glad you you don't have any bloodlust, SS boy. You're always good, aren't you? Yes. Well, I'll just I'll just cat space mission there myself. <laughs> God, I love being able to just ro oh crap, we've ascended. This is the only problem with cat space mission. Occasionally we kitty ascend. Oh, we need to cure our disease. My God, that we got from Vicenti. Yeah, look, Porphyra chemophilia. Yeah. That's going to manifest into full-blown vades. Vampirism. Which is very, very difficult to cure. So let's cure it whilst we can. We're a good guy. We're not going to be evil. Even though becoming a vampire would mean great and terrible unholy powers. I'm a good guy. We're redeeming ourselves this episode. So I'm going to use this cure disease spell. Here we go. It's done. That's it. No more vampirism. Okay, let's go take care of Serador. Nice and easy end to this big quest. No real, uh, no real twist on this one, huh? Hmm. Silben, where's Serador? Serador is asleep right now. Oh, really? He's had a long night of study <laughs> and is exhausted. Do not disturb him. He'll be up at five this evening. Oh, I won't disturb him, don't worry. I've just got my sword out to uh, not disturb him. Let's do a little kitty unlock here, yes? Little kitty sneak. Oh, you look very creepy in that lighting, SS boy, yes. Hmm. Oh, okay, be quiet, guys. What? He's not here. And I kitty cloaked and everything. God damn it. Well, oh, we can sleep in his bed. Okay, we're trespassing. Okay, guys, we still need to be stealthy. Let's, you know, search his house, do a little kitty unlock. No, do a little kitty unlock. See what we can find. Why is my alteration skill increasing? We'll take those. Yes. Yes, we shall. Ooh. See what we can find here. Oh, some gold. No, we won't take that. What the hell is this? Oh, according to a note I found in Surtur's bedroom, it appears that Surtur makes the occasional trip to the first edition bookshop in the market district. I should speak to the owner, Fintius, about Surtur's potential whereabouts. Yes. I must persuade Ventius to allow me to return the book. It cost me a small fortune and I no longer had need of it. What book? Oh. That's a strange book. Can't really make out any of these inscriptions. Huh. We'll just take this. Because it's how much is it worth? Of Nagaya Ball. 1,000 Uri! Well, he doesn't need to return it. We'll just keep it, you know? No worries.
As a blade, my place is at Martin's side. Joffrey, what can you tell me about Cloud Ruler Temple? Cloud Ruler Temple was built long ago by the founders of the Blades. Wowee. Well, we. Back in the days of Raymond Cyrodiil. Wowee well, we. It is high in the mountains near Bruma. Our ancient fortress, sanctuary, refuge of last resort. Martin will be as safe there as anywhere. Okay, well, I think we'll head there, Joffrey, as soon as we finish this quest. We're in the market district looking for Fintius, and then we can... Joffrey? Joffrey, stop! S, S, boy, help! <laughs> Something's wrong! <laughs> Well, let's get on into the first edition. <laughs> Joffrey. <laughs> see, uh, see what Fintius has to say. Hello, Fintius. I'm just going to do a little kitty said do sound, yeah? See what that does. You've got a customer. Hello. I'm Fintius, owner and proprietor of the first edition. Okay. Tell me about Serado. Serado? He comes in from time to time. Usually it's when he's out shopping. He always comes in with a large amount of travel food in his bag. Then sometimes he buys a few books. Oh. I asked him once about it, and he said that he goes out of the city on business trips. Oh, yes. I think I overheard him once mention Memorial Cave <laughs> to another patron of mine. Vampire Cave. But he never talked to me about it directly. Okay. Memorial Cave? Yes. It's outside of the Imperial City. I heard it's a place where many of the heroes from past wars are buried. Mm. Sort of a subterranean graveyard. Vampire hangout. I just assumed Serator had a relative that died and is buried there. Not many people go out there anymore as the route is dangerous. But Serator's a stubborn one. <laughs> Takes integrity for a man to risk his own life to honor the fallen. I admire him for that. Well... I looked it up once in an old atlas. I Thank you. Okay, great. Well, we're either going to run into um, Cyrador and surprise him, or this is a big, big trap. We should probably go home and go home and rest first, and we can go vampire hunting tomorrow. I think these are the simps. Remember the simps from the last episode? <gasps> Watch the flank. This is the we helped them, and now they're just glitching around the Imperial City. Man down! Better than Man down! Than I don't know why we helped them. Yeah! Pretty stupid. <laughs> Being a good guy sucks. Die! Well, see you next weekend for the JoJo anime special. Maybe there's hope after all.